Over the past few months, AI image generators such as DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion have taken the art community and the world by storm. These AI models can create some surprisingly realistic works of art with some simple text and have seemingly endless utility in the 2D art world. An AI image generator even won its first art competition. However, this is just the beginning. It's about to get much crazier. Over the last few days, multiple AI models have just been released that can create textured 3D objects from nothing more than a few words. This is a huge deal, and I want to take a look at what tools are available for us to use now, as well as where these tools will lead us in the future, and what's next. If you're a 3D artist, I highly recommend sticking around to the end of the video, as these tools are going to change the world and make your life a lot easier. The first tool I'm going to go over is called Dream Fusion. It's a paper published by researchers at Google and UC Berkeley. It uses the 2D image model Stable Diffusion to construct 3D objects and textures. What I find neat about this implementation is that it makes use of Stable Diffusion without modifying any of the underlying weights. Instead of using its own labeled dataset of 3D models, it combines Neural Radiance fields, or NERFs, with Stable Diffusion to make the models. This approach is definitely interesting, however the research paper doesn't include any performance data. The only mention of this is that 15,000 iterations takes roughly 1.5 hours to complete on custom machines fitted with Google's TPU version 4 chips. Most of us don't have access to this kind of cutting edge hardware, heck, we're still waiting for the GPU prices to go down so we can get our hands on a 30 series RTX card. Google Cloud states that access to these chips is around $3.22 USD per hour for on-demand computing. If you stop to think about it, that will add up really fast if you're a 3D artist looking for some quick and easy assets for a project that you're working on. Another thing to mention about Dream Fusion is that it's not open source, meaning we don't have access to the code base. The authors have made no comment about plans to do so either. What's really frustrating is that both Stable Diffusion and Nerf technologies this paper rely on are open source. I'm really hoping that this project does become open source because I cannot wait to see what the community does with it. However, if you're interested, you can explore Dream Fusion's current website. They do have a huge gallery filled with example 3D models that you can check out and explore, so I'll give them props for that. For now, let's move on to the next tool. This one is called Get3D, and it's created by researchers over at NVIDIA. Now this one's a bit different. Instead of using pre-existing image models like Stable Diffusion, Get3D was trained on synthetic data. Now what's that? The researchers behind this project gathered a bunch of 3D models from online, rendered out 1 million images, then used these to train Get3D. With this process, they managed to train the model in only two days time, a much more efficient way of going about this for sure However, there are some caveats. Because Get3D was trained on synthetic data, its output is severely limited in diversity compared to stable diffusion. Its data sets are also much smaller due to the difficulties in sourcing a reasonably sized, labeled 3D model data set. Another thing to note is that these tools are primarily focused on objects. They do not have the capabilities as of yet to generate large-scale 3D scenes or environments. As someone who is a programmer by trade and knows very little about 3D art, that is something I'm hoping comes out very soon. This paper also boasts about use of another AI called Style Gone Nada, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, that can be used to make cars rust and convert animals into Simpsons characters. I'm not making this up, have a look at the paper yourself. My favorite part about this project is it's available on GitHub and it's open source, but and there is a bug coming. When you download the code, you have to actually render out the sample data yourself and train the model yourself on your own computer. Linux is also the only officially supported operating system for this model, so sadly, Mac and Windows users aren't able to participate just yet, but hopefully there's an update or a pull request in the works. There is what appears to be very detailed installation and setup instructions on the GitHub README page, but I haven't had a chance to follow along with it myself because I don't currently have access to a Linux machine. Let me know in the comments below if you ended up getting Get3D working on your end. I'd be interested to see the results. There is one final tool that I want to mention that's much smaller in scale than the previous two. It's called Text to Mesh and it allows you to produce a variety of color and geometric detail on the surface of pre-existing models. This tool is brought to you by researchers at the University of Chicago and Tel Aviv University. It is open source and you can set this up on your computer at home. All you need is a CUDA graphics card and at least 8GB of VRAM. I find this tool quite appealing and I see a lot of 
potential here due to its lightweight and simple setup. With this tool, you can stylize existing low poly 3D models, provide a text prompt, and simply generate out a more detailed model. To wrap this video up, I wanted to discuss my thoughts on these recent projects. Both Google's Dream Fusion and Nvidia's 3D Get have only been public for a few days. So as you can imagine, this is extremely new technology. However, as is the mantra of the YouTuber Two Minute Papers, imagine what can be achieved two to three papers down the line. I see a future where in a matter of months, we could be seeing tools as influential to the 3D world as Stable Diffusion and DALI 2 were to the 2D art world. What I'm most excited about is how this technology will impact the creation of virtual reality and augmented reality experiences. This will give people all around the world the ability to let their imaginations run wild and spark a new technological and artistic leap forward. For those who are worried, just like DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion, 3D digital artists will not be put out of business by these new technologies. Being an artist takes a lot of skill. You can clearly tell when an AI generates an image from a text prompt I made versus a text prompt a skilled artist made. These are simply tools that will allow everyone to achieve even greater things. We wouldn't be able to drive cars if we hadn't invented the wheel first. So imagine what we can achieve with these tools. I personally see four key technologies intersecting here, creating something just out of this world. Cloud computing, virtual reality, 3D digital art, and artificial intelligence. Cloud computing will power and render out experiences. Virtual reality headsets will allow us to experience it all. Further software and tools will allow us to design our worlds within VR, and AI will make creative freedom more accessible to everyone. Now, obviously a lot of gaps still need to be filled in and a lot more research needs to be done. I personally hope that one day I will be able to participate and contribute to all this great research myself, but for now I can only admire what these researchers have achieved from afar. I cannot wait to see what becomes of this. It, it, it really feels like an arms race that's just exponentially accelerating, which is both exciting and scary for multiple reasons. There's a lot of ethical concerns with what kind of content can be generated. But as we've seen with Stable Diffusion and Dolly 2, there are some pretty good ways to moderate content and what is actually generated. So I'm hoping the same thing can be done here. Anyway, those are my thoughts. I think this stuff is really cool and I cannot wait to actually get my hands on it and try it on my own computer at home. And I really hope a good open source alternative that's easy to use and accessible to everyone comes out eventually. I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for that and let you guys know as soon as I find one. But for now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.